All right, guys, here in Baltimore, Deuce McAllister joins us. Uh, kind of a boring game, uh, uneventful there. Not much happened, huh? Not a lot of happening. I mean, a slow game. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it was a W, right? <laughs> you know, you've been around this organization for a long time. The River City Relay, I believe, back in 2003, you had the last lateral. It looked like a miracle finish, and unfortunately, John Carney misses the extra point. Is this redemption for the River City Relay all these years later? I don't know if it's redemption, but I'm sure glad to be on the other side <laughs> of a play like that. And you're talking about, you know, I feel for Tuck. I mean, because I saw him warm up. He's kicking him from 68 yards. Right. And so, a young man that never missed one at all, and to have it happen in that manner, he was shocked, Flacco was shocked. It happens. You can win and lose football games in so many ways, but when you win and you get a kind of a break like that at the end, even though they earned it to, to come back the way they did, how does that help a football team after a game like that? Well, you know the mistakes that you made. I mean, because they were in cover two, and there's no way that uh, – Marshawn did a pretty good job of jamming, but Vaughn has to – he was too flat. And so that's just one play. You think about the other two interceptions that they had, you know, Marshawn and, and, and Marcus right there at the goal line, and then P.J. breaks on the ball. He has a shot at it. Kurt Coleman has a shot at it. So there's a lot of plays that they left out there that it's like, man, if we make this play – this ain't even close. Sean Payton said the game plan, they threw a lot at Drew Brees, had to really take a lot in, and he was really impressed how he absorbed everything. How impressed were you? We didn't get a lot of sleep, and so we knew going in, they wanted to work them in empty out of regular formation, and they were able to do so. And you could tell that the uh, Ravens were not comfortable with making their linebackers go out and cover tight end or mark. You know, they're both in the empty formation. Then you lose Josh Larebus, you've got your number three guard back there, and so they just made play after play and Drew made the right calls to get him in the right plays. I thought the third and eight in that fourth quarter to Michael Thomas that kind of set up a lot of things for this offense was a real turning point in this game. Well, it was a real turning point, but how about this? You, you, you throw to a tight end that has only been active for two weeks. Yeah. Dan Arnold catches a go route and he's got Weddle in coverage and Weddle can't do anything. And so he comes up with two huge, I mean, he had two catches, but Ben Watson comes up with two huge catches as well in that fourth quarter. So Scott stepping up and making plays. To do it against the number one defense in the NFL, to be down by 10 and come back with 17 unanswered points, I mean, that has to be a huge confidence boost for these it's, guys. It's huge confidence. I mean, you're talking about a defense that had not given up any touchdown in the second half, and the Saints put up 17 in the fourth quarter. Well, River City Relay, 2003, sweet, sweet redemption for Deuce McAllister and the Saints. Back to you guys.